this thing on? Can you hear me? Y'all don't know how excited I am to be back mountain biking and making videos. Today I'm gonna introduce you to the bike that I chose. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably got a good idea of what I ended up getting, but I'm gonna introduce it to you guys right now. And I'm gonna tell you why I chose the bike that I chose too and why it took so long. Well, I guess I'll start with why it took so long. So I was wanting to pay between preferably the price of $2,000 to $3,000. But as you guys know, it's kind of hard to find a really good spec bike in that range unless you do some real research and some real looking around, riding different bikes and stuff. And I thought it would be pretty easy, but it was kind of crazy how different every bike was and how long it took me to make a decision. But I'm really glad that I waited and took my time to decide what I wanted because I'm really happy with the one that I chose and I think you guys will be too. I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. But through this whole process, it was always, I think I like this one, but it doesn't have this. I like this one, but I wish it had this. And you know how that goes. If When you buy something, especially if it's an expensive purchase, you kind of weigh all your options. It just don't click right away. Well, this situation right here was a lot different. I saw a lot of bikes that I was interested in. And when I saw this one, it was right away i said yep i want this one so that's when i knew i said i found the one because out of all the bikes it never hit me right away where i wanted to get it right then and there so that's what happened with this bike i i saw it i got on it didn't even test ride it it's funny but i got on it i looked at it i said yep this is the one i want it's crazy how it worked out all right i think i'm done rambling now i'm gonna show you what i picked up all right guys here it is my 2021 specialized status All right, let me go a little walk through over the bike. Y'all know I'm not the biggest spec person, so bear with me. I'll tell y'all as much as I know about this bike and hopefully it's helpful information just in case you decide you wanna try to get this bike. All right, we got the Fox 36 Rhythm Fork. I hope these shadows are not too bad, but this is a pretty good fork, especially at the price range this bike is at. This bike is, I think 2,600 uh us dollars so i'm not sure everywhere else in the in the world but in the us it's uh 2600 you get a fox 36 fork with 160 travel so that's not bad at all plenty of travel you also got fox dp x2 uh suspension at the back it's got the uh float dp x2 float at the top and that's 160 also it comes stock with the deity grips so that's pretty cool. You get kind of you get some good grip stock straight out the out the box or out the store, and you get cold uh, SRAM brakes or SRAM codes. So these work pretty good, especially at that price point. And I like how they just have the specialized symbol right there. They usually have it on the down tube, but on this bike on the status, they only have a little small S at the front. I'm about five eight, and I got the S3 model. So specialized, they go. S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. I think S6 too. And S3 is the medium in the Specialized. It comes with these Butcher tires. They kind of thin, thinner than what I'm used to. I kind of like a thicker tire, but we'll see how they hold up. But they're not bad. I mean, definitely get your money's worth out of them, but I'll ride these until I can't no more and then maybe upgrade. And this is a mullet setup also. So the front tire is 29 inches and the back tire is 27.5. I couldn't decide if I wanted 29 or 27.5. So that played a role in me deciding to get this bike too. Is I said, if, if I can't get one, if I can't decide between one or the other, I might as well just get both. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then you get the NX drivetrain, which is pretty nice. I like this. The NX is it's uh shifts really smooth and I like the sound of it too, so definitely good quality for the price. And then I got these anvil pedals, metal pedals. They work really good also. I like them a lot. I had Chester's or what did I have? Yeah, I had Chester's before, but I decided to try something new. I tried anvil i like the color and it matched the bike so i like them so far and it's it's pretty cool how they got status right here 
just the S at the front and then status right here on the down tube. So not much advertising, I guess you should say. It's real nice and stealthy looking and I really like that a lot. In the dropper post, you get the X-Fuse and Manic dropper post. So I don't know too much about dropper post, but I heard the X-Fuse and Manic was pretty good. So I'll take the, the bike shop's word for it, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. I'm super excited to be back making content for you guys and super excited to get back to mountain biking. It took a long time for me to decide to get a bike, but I think the wait was well worth it because I think I got everything I wanted out of this bike. I just wanted to introduce you guys to my new bike and let you see what I chose and give you a little walk around. If you guys have any more questions, just let me know. I'd be glad to answer them. I plan to make a lot more videos about this bike. So if I didn't cover something in this video, better believe I'll be covering it in the near future because I got a lot of trails and stuff I want to do with this bike and I want you guys to join me on that journey for sure as you guys have been so far I really appreciate the patience with me choosing a bike I mean I know you guys kind of understand I did take a kind of a long time though but I know you guys understand when you're choosing a full suspension bike it's a big investment and it's a big step I mean I feel like I'm in a in a whole new realm of biking now so I'm kind of excited so I just wanted to let you see the bike I chose and I'm actually on a trail right now so be expecting a video here within the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that and I'll let you guys know how this uh, this uh, specialized status did. So we back baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.